you got a guy like Chris Tanev who's, you know, obviously playing hurt, but playing. And we know how much you like him on your bench and you like him on the ice and how important he is to you, but he's probably at some percent less than 100. How do you weigh all that out? Yeah, I think, in the, first of all, taking Tanny out of that, there's probably lots of players I would bet in the series. When you, you know, when playoffs start, there's either guys that are in or out. But then as playoffs go along, it's, it's IR or out for the year or whatever, right? So I'm sure there's a number of players like that. So. Uh, in the series on both teams, for sure. Um, but re weighing that out with with Chris would be, uh, you know, even strength minutes. He was really good the other night. When you look at it, he was made his partner a better player. And I said it yesterday with the uh, with the experience on our back end uh, or lack of experience on our back end. He's an important player. In your experience. You know, with different guys over the years, like what does it do for a, a group when you get an important piece like that back? That's exactly what it is. It just gives you some composure in your. I mean, because games aren't always, always uh, where one team where one team rides the momentum the whole game. There's momentum shifts, lots of momentum shifts during the game. So, you know, anytime you can have that on on the ice, it, it's important. <laughs> oh, just my phone. Yeah. Well, you guys did a decent job with Edmonton's top line last game. What worked what work in that game in terms of maybe some of chances? You know, I think just our puck management's a little better. I think our ozone time is hanging on to pucks, but I, you know, it's still the, it's still the trade-off of you know, that's as I've said, that's a different. That's a different set of skill, that player, but there's still a trade-off after that in terms of are we getting enough and are they getting enough out of that next layer. That's, that's the next part. You look for on the morning of a, an elimination game, like what do you need to see out of your group just in terms of mindset? Well, when you're playing every other day, it's, it's, you know, you're doing a lot of work in-house with, with guys, so that's, that's what's important. And, our guys don't. Our guys don't have any problem with that. We've done it all year. That's very simple. You don't win. What is it? Fifty-five games. <laughs> I mean, you think about it. You won fifty-five games this year, so it's pretty easy to get set for the next one. You said that the team maybe hasn't finished as much as it could have on scoring chances during the series. What's the key to to making sure those pucks go in or or? Generating more offense versus this Edmonton yeah, team. I think there's different layers there. That's a general question, and the general answer would be to say finish. But there's, you know, there's guys that can maybe get around the net more. Maybe there's more pucks around at the between the hash marks. Maybe there's a little bit more in the rush. Maybe there's a little bit more in the power play. There's lots of ways of breaking that down. You need to see from Matt Kachuk then along those uh, lines. What are the things that he has to do to get more involved here? I think just his skill set. You know, use it use it more to his advantage. I think them guys. I think this got nothing to do with effort or anything like that. With with any of our guys that are that are uh, you know haven't been as productive after game one in the series. But you have to give Edmonton credit in that too. Like <laughs> maybe maybe our guys are doing all they can. Maybe Edmonton's just doing a little bit better right now. I mean, that's kind of been a sideline, right? Nobody's talked about that. It's always been about the negatives. What about the good stuff that's going on? So what's the balance then, game planning in a, in a do-or-die game versus earlier on in the series? I mean, I know you want to stick to your identity, but do you change stuff systems-wise, or do you, do you approach it differently with your backs up against the wall? Or? Yeah, there might be some different approaches, but I don't think you're going to – you're not calling in plays. It's not – or the defense goes off and the offense goes on, or, or we change innings. 